Aleve tablets, 220. Yo, so these are Aleve tablets, 220. They're like the go to when you're dealing with those annoying little aches and pains. You know, the stuff that bugs you, like arthritis acting up, muscles aching, back pain, those dreaded menstrual cramps, headaches, toothaches, even when you catch a nasty cold. Plus, they can help bring down a fever for a bit. Now, peep this though. There are some warnings you gotta keep in check. If you're allergic to aspirin, watch out, cause naprox and sodium here might throw a curveball at you. It can trigger some serious allergic reactions like hives. Your face puffing up, wheezing like you've got an inner asthma DJ, or even shock. If that happens, don't mess around. Stop using these and hit up a doc ASAP. Then there's the stomach bleeding alert. These bad boys got in seds in them. And those can mess with your stomach. Especially if you're a stomach. Especially if you're a seasoned citizen. Like 60 or older. Or if you've had stomach ulcers or bleeding issues. And if you're on some blood thinning or steroid action. Or you're popping other NSAIDs like aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. Don't overdo it. Lay off the booze while using these, and don't go rogue by taking more than you're supposed to. Heads up, too. NSAIDs, except aspirin, could crank up the chances of you having a heart attack, heart failure, or a stroke. That's some serious business. So don't go overboard with these tablets. Stick to the script. Don't even think about using Aleve if you've had an allergic reaction to other pain relievers or fever reducers, or if you're right on the heels of some heart surgery, play it safe. Talk to a doc before you dive in if you've got any of these going on. If you're worried about the stomach bleeding thing or you've got a history of stomach trouble like heartburn, high blood pressure, heart issues, liver cirrhosis, kidney problems, asthma, or a stroke in your history, if you're on diuretics or pain meds give you grief, you better consult with a doc too. If you're under a doc's care for some real deal condition, or you're popping aspirin to keep heart issues at bay, just know that naproxen might mess with your aspirin game. So check in with the doc or pharmacist. When you're popping these pills, chow down on some food, or have a swig of milk if your tummy gets upset. If things start to go south and you feel woozy, barf up some blood or see black stuff in your poop or your stomach's acting up. Don't mess around. Get help. Same goes for any heart or stroke signs like chest pain, trouble breathing, weakness in your limbs, slurred speech, or swelling. If your pain's still doing its thing after 10 days or your fever's still hanging around after 3 days, or you can't swallow them pills, or they're stuck in your throat, or you see redness and swelling in the pain zone, or you notice any new weird stuff, talk to someone in the know. Ladies, if you're expecting or nursing, Run it by a healthcare pro before you dive into these, especially after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Don't go there unless your doc says so. It could cause some problems for the little one or during delivery. Keep these tablets locked away from kiddos. If you're somehow in an overdose situation, call up poison control or get to the doc, like yesterday. Lastly, the dosing deal. Don't ode. Take the smallest effective dose and gulp down a full glass of water with each one. If you're a grown-up or a teen older than 12, one caplet every 8 to 12 hours while the pain's playing tricks on you. For the first round, you can double up within the first hour. But don't go past two caplets in 8, 12 hours or 3 in a whole day. If you're under 12, ask a doc. Oh, and each caplet's got 20 meg of sodium. Store them between 20-20. 5 oc, 68, 77 of, and keep them dry. No extreme humidity or heat above 40 dex, 104 to gef. Got questions or something to say? Hit up one, 800, 395, 689. Stay chill.